Hey YouTube, it's Jen. So today I have probably the biggest empties video I've ever done and I'm never gonna let it get this way again because I have so many. I think this is product accumulated all the way back from February, March. So a long time. I have a lot of product in here and without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it, tell you about the products. From now on, after this empties video, I am going to go back to doing my monthly fond farewells, which will incorporate, um, which will be just what I've used up in the previous month. There'll be less product, yes, but I'll be able to talk about the products more and give you a more thorough opinion without making the video a million minutes long, because if you guys watch my channel regularly, then you know that I like to keep my videos at a somewhat reasonable length. So. Let's jump right in. I have this giant bag. It's double bagged, so it's so flippin' heavy. And it's chock full of product. It's chock full of product. <laughs> Yikes. So I'm not gonna do this in any order like I usually do. I'm just gonna go ahead and just go through the stuff. I have a Garden Strawberries hand soap. That's a great scent, uh, just a very sweet candy-like strawberry, and I love the foaming hand soaps. You are going to see a lot of those in this video. I also have a Mango Temptation body wash from Victoria's Secret. Uh, I love the scents from Victoria's Secret. I think they're wonderful, and I like that the body washes in particular are very strong scented. However, I find that they do not lather as well as the Bath & Body Works, so it's kind of really a toss-up. I like to buy them on clearance for the scent, but I miss the lather. With Dancing Waters foaming hand soap. I had this in my kitchen. I love Dancing Waters. I truly think it's one of the most underrated scents from Bath & Body Works. Just a very nice clean scent. I also have a Provence Garden. This is from the uh, Provence collection from last spring, maybe spring before, and a foaming hand soap. This was just okay. It just kind of smelled like cheap generic soap. Nothing that I would really repurchase. This is one of my holy grail products, and I will forever repurchase and repurchase this as long as they keep making it. This is from Sensi, and it's their Layers collection, and these are the washer whiffs, and I get this in a giant tub because I use this for almost everything I wash. Uh, you just use, like, you don't even need a full scoop because it comes with a scoop in here. You use about half a scoop of this stuff, and it scents your laundry so well. Your clothes will smell amazing. Um, I find that these work better than the Downy Unstoppables. I've used the Purex washer ones. Nothing compares to this stuff. So I get it in the white tea and cactus scent, which is just a really nice, clean, perfect scent for laundry. Can't say enough good things. I have a fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret. This is the Pure Seduction Blush. This is all janky and misshapen because this was in my car and Washington has been very warm recently. And uh, yeah, so it's it kind of expanded and changed a little bit, but the pump still worked and I finished it up. I have a Moonlight Path Shower Gel. I liked this when I first started using it and I really got sick of it towards the end. Um, just It just gets too much for me, I think. Um, so I won't be using this for a while, but who knows, maybe I'll be on another Moonlight Path kick in the future. I have a Sicilian Mandarin. This is the... Um, like the, the hand soap with nourishing olive oil. I got that on clearance at the outlet. Um, I I mean, the liquid formula is nice. I don't find it especially extra nourishing. I, I don't see why they price them so much, but when I can get them on clearance for like $3, that's a lot of soap and it's a nicely scented hand soap, so I'm happy to get it. I have a lemon vanilla shower gel. I love lemon vanilla, probably my all-time favorite shower gel. Uh, it's just perfect, this sugary sweet vanilla scent, there's, you can't go wrong. I have a deep cleansing hand soap in the Fresh Pick Sweet Tangerines. This scent is the best, it is so good, it's just fresh picked tangerine, there's nothing more to say about it. However, I do not use the deep cleansing formula anymore because they use the plastic microbeads and I'm trying to not use products with the plastic microbeads. Another holy grail product, this is the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. I discovered this through Birchbox and I cannot go another day without it. I've actually haven't repurchased this yet because it's so expensive and I just use my Birchbox points on a different order. So I'm gonna have to wait, but this stuff is so nice if you have thin hair like I do. It's just, it's a lifesaver. I have a face wash I discovered through Birchbox. This is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Cleansing Gel. I like Juice Beauty. They really have great ingredients if you're looking for more natural made products. Uh, most of this stuff is almost purely organic. Uh, this stuff was a great summer face wash because I felt like it really cleaned my skin but it didn't over dry. I have a Sea Island Cotton Foaming Hand Soap. Uh, sea Island Cotton is great. It's just a nice clean cottony laundry scent. 
nothing too spectacular, but it's a really good hand soap. It's very strongly scented. I have a perfume. This is the uh, Cinderella perfume by Sephora. This was released a few years ago. Jeremy got this for me for Christmas. I absolutely love this perfume. It's very simple. It just smells like a clean, soapy shampoo, and it's just perfect, and it, I loved it. I'm really sad it's gone. I mean, I could get this on eBay, but I'm really not going to. It just was time to say goodbye, so... This stuff was awesome. A mini candle in turquoise waters. I burned these in my bathroom. Uh, this is another nice scent. This doesn't have the best of throw. I've had mini candles that were much stronger, but it did the trick and it scented my bathroom lightly, but nicely. A pure seduction shower gel from Victoria's Secret. Again, not the greatest lather, but the scent totally made up for it. Such an awesome scent. Hawaii passion fruit kiss shower gel. Uh, this was just okay. I mean, it was nice, but it didn't really stand out as anything um, amazing, but it did the trick and it was a nice shower gel. I have a little mini Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I received this in my birch box. I absolutely love this stuff. This stuff really um, helps with my hair. Uh, I usually don't use dry shampoo to skip a day of washing because I can't do that. My hair is way too fine. Um, but I use this at the end of the day because my hair can get oily, oil, oily by the end of the day. So this really helps kind of perk it up like it says and it smells fantastic. I recently just bought a bunch of Batiste dry shampoo which is um, good, not as good as this but it's a really nice line of shamp dry shampoos and I've been using that. So once I'm done with those I will probably repurchase this in the full size. I used a body wash from Sonia Kashuk. This is the uh, Red Promisia Sandalwood Jasmine and Vanilla. This stuff smells so good and it really, if you use this with the body cream and the little um, eau de toilette they sell at Target, Man, you will be smelling wonderful. This is a great wintertime scent, um, perfect for cold weather. I absolutely loved it. Very cozy with a little bit of dark um, florals like jasmine. I could even smell a little bit of rose. Wonderful scent. I also used up a Soap & Glory Scrub of Your Life. Um, ooh, it's kind of gross. A uh, shower scrub. This was okay. A very finely milled scrub, but a, a Wish Shave Cream. I received this in Birchbox. Uh, this was okay. I feel like a little bit did not go as long of a way as like a shaving cream, but lately I haven't really bought any shaving cream. I've just been using my shower gels and it works just fine. So, I mean, this did the trick. I used this on a weekend trip, um, but I mean, I they're kind of expensive, so I don't think I'd buy one for the full size. This is the bag that never ends. I have a party dress mini candle. As you can see, it burned all the way down. Party dress kind of reminds me of a musky or dark kiss. I love it. I think it's a great scent. Um, I have an Aspen Caramel Wood Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. This was nice, very nice cozy vanilla scent. I have a three wick candle from Bath & Body Works in the scent Lavender Vanilla. This is an awesome candle, you guys. This burned perfectly. The scent throw was perfect. Not too strong, not too light. And it's a nice com comforting scent. I get lavender, but it's almost like a subdued lavender. It's not like a fresh in your face, fresh lavender scent. The vanilla really makes it cozy. This is a perfect scent for a nice quiet evening. I I also have to go with that a aromatherapy and aromatherapy wallflower in the scent lavender vanilla and this smells a little bit different from the candle but together they made a really nice kind of calming atmosphere in my condo which is what I was going for. I have a Hawaiian hibiscus candle uh, from Bath and Body Works. This was good. It just smelled like uh, hibiscus with a little bit of sweet fruit. Um, good. Not the strongest scent throw, but a nice candle. I have a Woodwick candle in the scent Pumpkin Butter. Uh, Woodwick, I like the crackling sound that it does, but after burning it, you can see it kind of sooted. And right now, my biggest enemy is soot. I really have been trying to, different ways to decrease my soot. I trim my wicks all the time, but I still get stuff on my walls and it grosses me out. So lately, I've been trying a hurricane to see if that helps. Um, but... This was a nice scent, just I didn't like that it sudded and then once you blew it out, it smoked a lot. I have a vanilla suede Scentsy Bar. For people who like scents like Sensual Amber, it, was, it did get a little too strong for me at times. I ended up use, having to use half a cube instead of one cube, which is kind of why I like Scentsy so much. I feel like their products really do throw well, so one bar will last you forever. I also used up a Beach Cabana Mason Jar. This was a lighter scent. I originally used this in my living room, which usually, if I'm burning a good candle, my whole condo will smell good. But this didn't have the greatest of throw, so I moved it to my bathroom, and it scented up the bathroom just fine. So I have yet some more hand soaps. I swear, we go through hand soaps probably more than anything else. Hand soaps and shower gel. Uh, we only have our kitchen sink and our bathroom, so between the two of us, hand soap moves pretty fast around here. I have a Snow Kissed Berry Gentle Foaming. Love this scent. Uh, a little bit sweeter than the original body care formation it came in in 2010, but it was still nice. I have a Lavender Blossom. This is 
kind of your fresh picked lavender, very strong, but very nice if you're a lavender fan. And another fresh picked sweet tangerines, can't get enough of that scent. Now there is definitely some leakage, this looks so gross. This is a velvet sugar body cream, but it's kind of nasty. Um, I liked velvet sugar, I thought it was perfect for when it was cold out. Once the weather started to warm up, I was definitely more in a rush to use it up because it did get a little too strong, but I thought it was great. I also used up a beautiful day shower gel. This stuff was awesome. I really don't have very much beautiful day, but I really liked the scent in the shower. Um, this was great. I have a cranberry twinkle shower gel from Christmas a couple years ago. This was nice. I actually really liked this and I kind of wish I had more body care wise from it. Um, but it smelled great and I would repurchase it again if it ever came out. Wild basil and lime liquid hand soap from Soft Soap. I guess this is kind of like their fancy line. I got a couple of these when I was into extreme couponing for like two minutes. <laughs> Seriously. I tried it and I was really into it for like a week and then I just realized it was kind of a waste of money because I was spending more money than I normally would if I was just picking up things on the fly like usual. So um, yeah, I mean, great scent, but I probably won't repurchase again because I love my Bath & Body Works soaps. They love Spell Shower Gel from Victoria's Secret. And again, not so great lather, but awesome scent. Um, this is a nice scent, but I don't think I'd repurchase it again because it kind of just reminds me of Junior High. I feel like in Junior High, everybody wore that scent. So I have an It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product sample from Birchbox. This stuff was great. I really liked it. I really didn't weigh down my hair, but provided some nice moisture and heat protection. Big fan. Would consider repurchasing that again. I have a pumpkin cupcake mason jar candle. This was nice. Smelled really good. Strong throw. I love pumpkin cupcake. It's kind of a fall staple. I have a limoncello four ounce candle. This, as you can see, did not burn very well. Um, decent throw, but it tunneled like crazy. I have a vanilla snowflake mini candle. This was nice, just a nice simple vanilla scent. Then I have an autumn three wick. This is my all time favorite fall scent from Bath and Body Works. It even beats out leaves. It's just the perfect blend of apple and spices, and it, I, I swear to God, you can almost smell like the crisp autumn air. It's awesome. Big fan. I have a Yankee Candle in Home for the Holidays. You can kind of tell I'm getting like to the bottom of the bag because this is back when the weather was cold. And this was a nice scent, cinnamon spices, but as you can see, it just does not burn the best. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I burn these things for hours on end, but um, oh well, this is what it is. Uh, but it smelled really good. It smelled like kind of red hot cinnamon and I love those kinds of scents. So um, would I repurchase if I can get it for like 10 bucks or less? I have a few more soaps. I have Fresh Picked Lemon Mint Leaf, good soap, would repurchase. A Winter Cranberry, good soap, always will repurchase, have for years. And the White Perrin Fig, this was good, wouldn't repurchase unless I got it really cheap. Uh, it was nice, but meh, I think it was, if, if there was more pear than fig, I'd be happy. The Wallflower in Turquoise Waters, this was super strong, super awesome. I went with a lot of my candles, would repurchase again. I have a Maybelline Clean Express waterproof eye makeup, remo eye makeup remover. This was my go-to eye makeup remover. I absolutely loved it. And then I never saw it again in any of the stores. So I'm using the Almay one right now, which is good, but this was my favorite. I have a mini travel size shower, not shower gel, body spray in the scent White Citrus. Again, I just kind of kept this in my car, purse, wherever, for on the go. And this was great. I loved it. White Citrus doesn't agree with me in lotion, but in shower gel and uh, body spray, big fan. Just a Napa Autumn Blackberry Shower Gel. This was okay. Um, I think I think it's a little too dark for when I used it. I think I used this back when it was starting to become a little bit more springy and for some reason these scents just don't agree with me once the weather starts to get warmer. But if I had another one I would consider using this in the springtime, what I repurchase. If it was like at the semi-annual sale and for 75% off, I probably would. I have a mini candle and citron cedarwood. I bought a bunch of these way back in the day when they were really cheap and I like this scent. Just a nice kind of simple uh, light citrus scent. Um, I do get a little bit hint of cedar. It really kind of smells like a young man's cologne but it's not bad. I have this Gilcrest and Soam Spa Therapy Stimulating Sea Rock Body Wash. I got this from Birchbox. This was okay. Just kind of a generic scent. Nothing too exciting uh, but it did the job. A citron cedarwood candle. Again, you're gonna see a lot of these in a lot of my future empties videos. And then I have an endless weekend uh, travel size shower gel. I really liked the scent. The last like little bit, almost done, guys. So I have a sexy little things noir uh, perfume from Victoria's Secret. I love the scent. It was really nice. However, once you get down, you use it enough. 
this doesn't work anymore. It just pumps out air and not perfume. So eventually I had to take the top off and just kind of dab it. Um, but it was nice. I also have my Paula's Choice Resist Ultra, Ultra Light Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. I love this stuff. I haven't bought any, well I have a new one coming from Birchbox.com but I haven't had one in about a month and I really notice a difference when I use this stuff. So I actually have this and a few more other things from this line coming to use on a regular basis. And then last but certainly not least, I have two more Scentsy bars. I have Serene Green. This was lovely. This is probably the lightest throw out of all the Scentsy bars I've ever tried, but that doesn't really mean much because almost every single one I've tried have been super strong, so this one was probably like a medium throw. Um, and then I have Christmas Cottage, again another strong, awesome scent. I cannot talk about Scentsy enough. This stuff is so good. So those were my empties. Holy cow. Uh, I. I will be back at the end of August with another empties video and it will not be as long as this one. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. If you stuck around this long, you are the best. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.